All right, emergency approach, or emergency descent. Initially, when you lose your engine, what do you want to do? Uh, airspeed. Airspeed, what is it? Uh, probably 60 to 70, 70 knots. I would say 60 to 65. Best glide, right? Best glide, exactly. And okay. you can tell that by your vertical speed. The more airspeed you lose, or the more your vertical speed is, or the right. higher it is, of course, the more your descent rate is. So you might want to maybe, depending on what you're doing, if you go past it on either side, faster or slower, your descent rate's going to get faster. Okay. Um, around, about around 60, 65 is perfect for this plane. So what I studied was ABC, airspeed, uh, best landing, and uh, checklist. Best field, okay. Best, yeah. Best field. What are we looking for in a best field? Uh, something with, uh, without anything in it <laughs> that I can hit, right? You want to you wanna go in something, probably with fields down here, you want to go with the grain of the, uh, with the crop with roads. The field, right? Yeah, what else? Uh, what about a lighter color compared to a darker color? Do you think that would make a difference? Lighter color would uh, mean that it's probably drier. Yes. Darker color means it's been recently tilled, so it's softer, right? Uh, well, darker brown, darker green. Darker green means more vegetation. Right. More vegetation. Darker brown, of course. Uh, more yeah, I was referring to the brown, right? Yeah. Good. Well, green too. We might be able to okay. land in a light green field first with really dark flushes. Right, because you don't know how tall the green is. Right, right? and that yeah. could hinder your your, uh, your movement, yeah. Right. Um, what else? Maybe power lines? Of course. Yep. Cows? Yep. Ditches? Anything in the field. Yeah, ditches. Yeah, like you can see here. Uh, yeah. Sorry, you, you can see different. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, what is it, like little crevices field? in the field, yeah, right? Yeah, so see that light brown field right below us, right, right. next to it? Right. That's per that would be a perfect yeah, field to land in. Another thing I like to look for in a field is location. Is it next to a road? Right. Can, it, can the emergency crew get to us very easily? Can my maintenance crew get to the plane very easily if they have to take it apart, for example, and piece it out or work on it and then I, so I can take back off again. Right. Okay, those are also things. Power lines. Right. How close are power lines or towers? Um, stuff like that. Light poles. Right. When, when do you make the decision for a road versus field? There's never a road or when you can't find anything that's... When I'm, like if I was in the city and there's a lot of houses, I would aim for a road. Okay. Um, Out here, obviously, a field. The only better. thing that worries me about roads is power lines. Right. Power lines cross roads sometimes. Sometimes they'll go alongside trees. It, it, it depends on what's out there. Can it clip my wings if I land in this road? And am I going to be able to fit through it? Or is my wings going to get clipped off? Right. Your tanks are in your wings. So you really don't want that kind of friction or that kind of cut, you know, right. whatever, on your wings. I mean, you're trying to survive. That's the whole point of this emergency landing. I need to survive this. So, if it's a country road, like, and, and light posts. Light poles are usually closer to the road. Right. I mean, like that, that, um, that little neighborhood, everything's kind of pushed away. Except for maybe mailboxes, but I'm thinking that we might still be able to high wing aircraft probably could clear your mailbox. Yep. But we might be able to land in a subdivision road. Um, they're they're less busy. Uh, other traffic, you know, would be a good example of not being able to land on a road. So one of the problems out here, um, you don't always you can't see topography from up high, right? So I may pick a field. And it, I may get there, and it turns out that it's a big lump, big hill, right? Kind of do your best and hope for the best, or is there a kind of a way that you can? Uh, um, it, it's is that a silly question, or no? It's definitely not a silly question. The only thing you're really going to be able to tell is ditches. Like you can see little creases and crevices; those are ditches. You right. see, um, like like wrinkles. That's pretty yeah, much all you're going to be able to... Where the water kind of runs down the hill. Right. Okay. 
if you land on a hill, it's not a big deal. You just might, if, if you have land going up a hill, you might need expect to flare, flare more. So you might want to try to pick up your speed so that when you pick up your, your plane, it still has forward motion instead of just stalling and splatting against the hill. Does that make sense? Yeah. So you can really get going up that hill. So you can kind of roll up the hill instead of stop up okay. the hill. Does that make sense? Yep. But you really we'll turn want, around here. I mean, yeah, yeah, we can turn. You just really won't be able to tell unless it's a significant hill. Right. I mean, if it's really significant, like a mountain or, or like a bluff, you'll be able to tell it. But just rolling, it, it's... That's a good question. It's really hard to tell sometimes.